Good day, this is a bi-weekly healing and ascension message for North Node in Pisces. For personal readings, look in the description box. These are just messages for you to keep in mind over the next couple of weeks for your spiritual growth, ascension, and healing and raising your vibration, okay? North Node in Pisces. What do you most need to work on healing? For the next couple of weeks, North Node and Pisces Universe. We have family and tribe, okay? Family and tribe. Be very discerning with other people's opinions. Become aware of how the beliefs of your family and tribe are influencing you. What did you learn about relationships, money, and opportunities when you were younger? Ask yourself, am I still carrying some of those outdated beliefs? Am I trying to seek love and approval from my family by doing what they want me to do? An important question to ask yourself is whether you are living your life in order to make someone else happy or yourself happy. This card asks you to examine your loyalties, family beliefs, superstitions, and rituals that have power over you. Let go of anything that is not serving you. You are also being asked to face your fears of being different and embrace your uniqueness even if others don't understand or approve of your actions. Often working with your energy centers, which are your chakras, in particular the root chakra, can help you release past limitations and hurts, increase your confidence, and help you manifest your desires into the physical reality. So over the next couple of weeks, recognize beliefs that you've adopted from others. Play some tribal music. Imagine that other people's limiting beliefs are like chains that stop you from moving forward. Stomp your feet and focus on recognizing each belief, pattern, or past experience, and then imagine letting them go. You can even visualize throwing all the chains into a purple flame, which dissolves them. Then give yourself permission to move forward and put all of your energy on a daily basis into how you would love to live your life. So if you're not living for you and you're living for family, and tribe, friends, the universe is asking you to let go of any beliefs that don't serve you, even if they're part of your family, okay? Verify family and tribe. Clarify family and tribe. Someone is single and independent and wanting a peace of mind, but they're also caught up in heartbreak over a situation. They're having a tough time choosing to walk away or not from a situation that's not equal balance of self-love and self-care. Somebody needs to start their own practices and rituals. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. It's two masculine energies. And they're seeing a, a feminine energy, be single and independent. There's also a feminine energy that's single, independent, and healing a broken heart. And realize that walking away from connections and situations that weren't balanced with, with her spirituality and with her money, she realized she wasn't showing herself self-care and self-love. She wasn't giving herself a fair chance in love. So somebody's healing a heartbreak. 
clarify three of swords. Clarify three of swords for North Node and Pisces. Somebody sees that feminine energy as an empress and they're wanting to take fast movement to communicate with the empress. They may be heartbroken for some reason. Maybe an empress is part of their family, but they did something that was not of love and self-care. They were trying to juggle the empress and the empress walked away. Somebody walked away from an empress. Clarify Two of Pentacles. Clarify Two of Pentacles. Yeah, there's fights and battles and competition because someone was very toxic. Someone was toxic, ungrounded. This is the King of Pentacles, by the way. Someone was toxic, ungrounded, unstable, and could have had the Empress in competition. Two other cards flipped over. Yeah, wow. A masculine and feminine energy tried to create some type of investment that was very toxic to have the empress and fight competition, battles, and arguing. When in reality, I feel like whoever this empress is is actually part or was part of that king of pentacles and queen of pentacles in reverse, part of their tribe or family but they're so toxic, the Empress walked away and decided to start their own family and tribe rituals. They weren't going to keep going through cycles of karma, cycles of being left out in the cold, cycles of not having truthful plans, cycles of disappointment. She's breaking those generational curses. That's the choice that she made to love herself. Go within and understand her power, have her awakening. And now she's in her nine of, not only is she in the nine of pentacles energy, but she's also in her nine of cups energy. She is the truth. Those other people are just stuck. They refuse to go within and they continue to create illusions. So North Node and Pisces, you continue your healing and breaking those generational curses and cycles, regardless of who your tribe or family you thought they were. That's not it. You've seen the devil card out there. Spiritual warfare messages for North Node and Pisces. What does North Node and Pisces most need to know regarding spiritual warfare over the next couple of weeks? Someone is trying to deplete your energy to cause you lack of direction and focus and even have some bipolar tendencies where you have like split personalities. I also feel like whoever uh, was wanting you to not be focused and distracted and keep you caught up in karmic cycles, they're going through that. They have rips because they intentionally try to induce trauma and stress to you. So that's what they're going through. They actually have entities and outside forces taking over them, causing split personalities. Spiritual warfare messages for North Node and Pisces. North Node and Pisces.
spiritual warfare messages for North Node and Pisces. Any other messages? Someone is doing fire magic on your finances. So someone could have photos of you, North Node and Pisces. And they're drawing sigils on it and burning it, wishing you not to have any money, wishing for you to have financial problems. But it, they're they're getting that, they're having financial issues. Clarify tears. Yeah, they're getting messages about it. People in their community or their family is telling them something about a masculine energy. A masculine energy may have informed the community that um, that something's going on with these tears. A mature man has informed the community about these spiritual attacks and what's going on and why they're having problems. Yeah, I told you. I told you. A mature man has informed his family and his community why he's in bad health why he's been feeling mentally exhausted and trapped. I don't feel like he's going to go to jail for something, but it could be a possibility. What about fire magic and finances? Oh, wow. Someone tried to use a child to get money. Fire magic and finances. Somebody also tried to harm somebody's child for money. Clarify fire magic. That's disgusting. Clarify fire magic and finances. False person. Sudden wealth. And gift. Somebody literally was out here trying to hurt somebody's child for money. Taking pictures of the baby using pictures of the baby offline and using it to try to use the child's energy to get money because they're a false person. That's disgusting. They were working hard to do it. Libra could have been involved. Justice system could be getting involved. And if a Libra is involved, they do not have spiritual protection. Clarify tears. What's your man, community, and message? Tears. Mature man, community, and message. Somebody rushed into a situation. They were they felt like they were being offered something that they didn't want somewhere. And they rushed into a situation with a community of people, group of people, and nothing good is gonna come out of that. And nothing good did come out of it. You see bad health and imprisonment over here. Clarify rips, family room, bad health, imprisonment. Illusions. Somebody had issues from their childhood, 
have a lack mindset mindset and decided that the only way that they could end end their money problems was to spiritually attack other people or another person, spiritually attack the empress and the empress's child so that they could get out of money losses, but all they ended up with is bad health and imprisonment. Clarify fire magic finances. Yeah, they were jealous. They were jealous of the Queen of Cups. Clarify fire magic and finances. Fire magic and finances. Fire magic and finances. They used strong magic. Who did this? Who spiritually attacked the Empress, Queen of Cups, and Child? Who? A group of people. A group of people and also people that were in a relationship. So it was a couple, a group of people that had a lot of burdens, and an insecure young man that needed more confidence. And he's now looking around and trying to figure out how he can defend himself from the karma that's coming. Because this is where they're at. This is where all of those people are at right now. They have their own conflict, competition, and battles going on. Because somebody was trying to control somebody's family. And their inheritance and their DNA. All because they didn't want the Empress and Emperor together. So North Node and Pisces, spiritually warfare wise, just continue healing and balancing and strengthening your root chakra. Balance your divine feminine and divine masculine energies. If you've been having any money fluctuations in the end, to that is coming. If you've been having money restrictions, and end to that is coming. And these people are paying with their health, finances, and some are going to jail and some are going to mental health hospitals. Because with all these rips and tears, they're going to start seeing and hearing things. And without having any money, they're going to end up Losing cars, houses, jobs. They won't have anywhere else to go but a hospital. Believe in your own magic. And never doubt your worth. You never doubted your worth to begin with. Your confidence is what um, intimidated them. were too caught up in whatever they used to do in their past life. That was that was really the problem. Believe in your own magic for North Node and Pisces. You guys have evil queen. You deserve salt, not sugar. It's in reverse though. So I feel like you guys have actually defeated whoever this evil queen is and something lovely is going to grow from this situation. Let's get one more. Believe in your own magic for North Node and Pisces. North Node and Pisces. Be your own first priority. The evil queen didn't know that you actually do put yourself first along with helping others. They thought you poured all of your cup into another person or relationships or your children that you didn't know how to take care of yourself first and that's where they fucked up. Whatever you're currently grappling with, you must put yourself first. When you're on an airplane, they always tell you to put your own oxygen mask before you try to help your neighbor with theirs. That is to say, if you don't make sure your own energy bar is full, then you'll have no energy to give someone else. Be brave enough to admit when you need to take a step back from the demands of others and work on making sure you're okay.
That's pretty self-explanatory. Universe, what message do you have for North Node and Pisces? Message for North Node and Pisces. Make sure you make peace with any of these people that you know have spiritually attacked at you, attacked you and trying to stay attached to you. Know that hope is the conduit for miracles, okay? So forgive your attackers, especially if they're in your family or your community or you thought they were your friends. Regardless if they, if it's a complete stranger, but you know who they are, just make sure you forgive them. Make peace with the situation and just move forward. Remember your healing was saying, put on tribal music and dance it away and let it go. You are the dreamer of your dream. When you lean on the faith in the universe, peace becomes real. Your energy flows where your intention goes, okay? It's a lot of yellow here. It's yellow in this card, it's yellow in this card. And then we have some crown and third eye chakra going in these cards. So they know that you have a, a, a strong solar plexus chakra and they try to tamper with you and it's all going back to them. But you just focus on being the dreamer of your dream. Keep your hope for your miracles to come through. Your energy will flow where your intention goes and continue putting your faith in the universe and you will continue to have your peace despite all the fuckery going on around you as long as you don't keep that in you psalms message god what message do you have from north no and pisces make sure you listen to my root chakra affirmations video just to help you continue to stay grounded The Lord delights in his people. He crowns the humble with victory. Surely God is your help. The Lord is the one who sustains you. You've had victory. You are the victor. You are victorious. Let's get some self-care for you, for your inner child, present self, and higher self to keep your vibration raised. Vibing. Good karma only. Universe, what's self care? Like you got dance. What self care messages do you have for North Node and Pisces? Inner child, present self, and higher self. Your vibration's really high, though. Your inner child wants you to indulge in some aromatherapy, whether it's like aromatherapy, candles, essential oils. Your present self wants you to connect with crystals and higher self. Higher self, the North Node and Pisces. And your higher self wants you to make sure you are syncing with the moon. I also have a meditation for that and affirmations in that video. I'll put the link in the description box below. So make sure you indulge in aromatherapy. You are connecting with crystals. Maybe you need to buy a couple of more crystals to really help you stand, boost your energy, stand in your power and sync with the moon. 
If you decide to watch other tarot readings, maybe you should look at your moon, your moon, your um, moon zodiac sign, and not your sun. Maybe your ancestors were moon gods and goddesses. Angel Wisdom Tarot Message for North Node and Pisces. It's the Five of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. Whoever that King of Pentacles is feels left out in the cold. And you got the Queen of Pentacles right there. So whoever that couple was... The supposed king, masculine energy, knows that they were supposed to go to the empress, the queen of cups, and they didn't. So they're regretful about that. They're regretful because you were their actual soulmate, your divine partner. You got the five of swords again. That was God's plan, and he made an unwise choice to go work. He made an unwise choice to go work. On another connection that he went too fast. And now he's bored and disappointed. He's not having a spiritual awakening. His ego is all up, all through the roof. Toxic energy still. Angel Wisdom Tarot for North Node and Pisces. Listen, my North Node is Aquarius, Pisces, because I know some of my energy was in um, oof, was in the Aquarius reading. A little bit of my energy got this reading, you know, a little thick. But um, we just go keep moving forward. Angel Wisdom Tarot, like no more, no less than four cards want to come out. Message from my collective. Thank you. Nine of Pentacles again. You are the star. We are stars. We are healing. And go to that Aquarius energy. All right. So nine of Pentacles, North Node, and Pisces. Is your angel wisdom tarot. Success, contentment, luxury, and self-nurturing. Nothing in your life has been handed to you. You've worked hard and you deserve this time to just enjoy the fruits of your labors. You may choose to reward yourself with a long vacation or perhaps you wish to buy yourself something special. Maybe you're nearing retirement or you've been prosperous enough to work for fun instead of for money. Sometimes this card means you could stop working, but you're just not ready for that. It might be beneficial to spend some time in comfortable solitude, perhaps enjoying time out in nature. You no longer need the company of others to make you happy or to be happy. Okay. Additional meanings of this card is being successfully self-employed, creating a beautiful environment, unexpected financial windfalls, enjoying the finer things in life, a love of animals and nature, and redecorating. Archangel Uriel brings the sun to shine upon your face. You've earned this time of peace as recognition for your hard work. Okay, North Node and Pisces, that is the message that I have for you. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.